is Eddie from Food for Thought. Um, this is a video actually I've been meaning to do for quite a while now. Um, put this down so I can don't get a reflection off my glasses. Well, it's a video I've been meaning to do for quite some time, as I just said. Um, it's about you know, and I have been asked you know what books I read. Um, so I thought I'd do a, a quick video on the books have meant the most to me. I have read a lot of books on, on the rabbits now. Um, some just seem to be rolling out, especially the ebooks, which are so easy to self-publish nowadays. Um, I have read some that are just churning out the same stuff as every other sort of classic book, you know, that people have, you know, that people have, you know, had out there. So let me go through the ones I've got. Um, some on ebook, which I, I use a lot with my tablet, an awful lot, um, and then some um, that I've got here. The very first book that I picked up uh, when I was deciding to um, to do this was this book. I don't know if you can see it, Rabbit Production. This is a brilliant book. Um, if you're actually going to be doing rabbits for meat, um, not necessarily for selling them, although you know, if you've got an excess of, of um, meat rabbits, sell them if you can. Um, I can't, in Ontario, I cannot sell the, the meat um, to the public. Um, that's against health regulations. But obviously I can sell them as um, sets or individuals or whatever. Um, I've actually got um, two sets that I'm gonna be putting up for sale, um, probably this weekend actually. Once I get them weighed and stuff, and finding out which ones I'm going to keep, but I'll take that'll be the end of um, one of my other videos. But this one is the ninth edition that I've got in here. Um, I'm not sure what edition that they're in now, um, um, but this is a great book. So if you get the chance, I'll put a picture on here um, to show you the the authors and stuff, um, so you can easily find it. So I'll just pause this and put the 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 screenshot of the the book. No way you see it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. So the next book um, that I got, had in my my library um, was definitely a, a best selling classic. This is on the, the front cover, and it is. I don't think there's anybody that hasn't or isn't in the rabbit breeding um, industry or just had a bunny rabbit as a pet hasn't probably got with this. And it's the Stories Guide to Rabbit Raising Rabbits um, by Bob Bennett. Um, this is definitely a classic, and the information in it that is absolutely brilliant, um, from housing to dispatching to everything you need to have a, a healthy rabbit, tattooing, um, everything, marketing. Excellent, excellent book. So if this. Uh, if you didn't want to even have the process, the the production one, this is one I would say definitely, definitely get into your library and read back to front. Great book. Okay, so I'll put this as a picture. Boom, boom. Okay, so the next book um, again is an ebook. Um, great book, Beyond the Palette. Um, feeding, uh, feeding rabbits naturally, replace pellets in backyard forage, gar rabbit gardens, and sprouted greens. Boyd Craven and Rick Warden. This is a great book. Um, this is one of my definite go-to um, books for reference for feed, um, especially for my rabbits. Um, they are all as much naturally fed as possible. Um, I started watching um, or reading this when I first got into it and completely left my back garden. I've got a close rear yard and I just went left it to seed. Um, and all sorts of different plants came up. Um, but this is going, this year, my rabbit garden is going well beyond that. Um, and there will be a lot more videos about that because of this book. Um, so if you want to get into feeding your rabbits naturally, then this is a book to go to. Um, it's a great book 
on all sorts of different feeds. So definitely on your list. And another ebook, again by Boyd Craven. This is Boyd Craven Jr. Um, this is the the Urban Rabbit Project Volume One Backyard Meat Rabbits. Um, again, just like the Bob Bennett book, um, this to me should be a classic. I don't know how many people have, have, have are, are reading it, um, but to me this is definitely a classic and must be in any producer's um, library. So again, I'll put the, the link and the, the picture so you can see, see um, the book. Um, but yeah, definitely have it in your library. Okay, this is a book that was actually given to me. Um, I attended a Ontario Rabbits seminar um, on euthanasia. Um, and when I attended, they had um, a couple of books, this of these books, um, on the counter, and I asked how much it was, and they said that it was free. You know, if you wanted one, you know, take it. Never one to say no to free, but it is an incredible book on. Do 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 do. It's the um, Harkness and Wagner's Biology and Medicine of Rabbits and Rodents, um, was published by uh, Wiley Blackwell. But Again, this is the fifth edition, so it's probably, um, and there was um, people at the Ontario Rabbits seminar at the time that came from um, one of the local universities, I think it was University of Guelph. Um, so it may have been that they had a, an extra few reference books. And this is definitely a student's textbook. Um, at times it is a little heavy reading, um, but you name it, you got it in this in this book. Um, every disease that you could possibly think of, the clinical procedures going through them. And the, just the biology side of it and the um, going through um, genetics and stuff like that. So it is quite a heavy book to read, um, but excellent book. So that's that. Do, 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 do. I don't have a picture of this one, so I'm going to put it up there, see if you can see it. Uh, these are the authors. I'll take a picture of it. It'll be easier. Okay. Bye. Okay, we're almost down to the end of what I recommend. Um, this is um, a best management practice book um, from Ontario Rabbits. It's not unless you, if you live in Ontario, and I'm hoping that they're starting to get a few people that are are on in Ontario watching some of these videos. Um, even if you're got two breeding pairs. That's it, two breeding those. I'd advise you to join this group um, because they really have everything nailed down um, for procedures and through the industry and marketing and trying to, just trying to get rabbits on as a mainstay. And because it's, I, I, well, we all know it, the old fluffy bunny, you know, syndrome that most people have trying to get this these trying to get people past it this is the great book so this is the book that I'm talking about so I'll give all the details of the Ontario rabbit um, at, in the link here uh, I've only been actually to one seminar so far um, since I've, I've started this but their website is is good this book alone is excellent. Um, going through, oh, there's also all the different sections. You know, uh, rabbit production, economics and financing, housing, facility management, rabbit management. Um, right here, rabbit production, nutrition and feeding, transportation, breeding stock, record keeping. So everything that you need to have a good rabbitry is in here. And I've taken, obviously being an Ontario rabbit producer, I've taken all my best practices that I can set up by this. Um, that way, if anybody ever comes and said, I don't think you should be doing this, this has been set down. Um, so this is the, the book that I, I 
say is gold to me for Ontario. So um, I'll get the details. Come to a meeting. Okay, we're almost down to the end of what I recommend. Um, this is um, a best management practice book um, from Ontario Rabbits. It's not unless you if you live in Ontario. And I'm hoping that they're starting to get a few people that are, are on in Ontario watching some of these videos. Um, even if you've got two breeding pairs, that's it, two breeding those, I'd advise you to join this group um, because they really have everything nailed down um, for procedures and through the industry and marketing and trying to, just trying to get rabbits. On, as a mainstay and because it's I, I, well we all know it the old fluffy bunny you know syndrome that most people have trying to get this be these trying to get people past it this is the great book so this is the book that I'm talking about so I'll give all the details of the Ontario rabbit um, at, in the link here uh, I've only been actually to one seminar so far um, since I've, I've started this but their website is is good this book alone is excellent um, going through oh there's also all the different sections you know uh, rabbit production economics and financing housing facility management rabbit management um, right here reproduction nutrition and feeding transportation breeding stock record keeping so everything that you need to have a good rabbitry is in here. And I have taken, obviously being an Ontario rabbit producer, I've taken all my best practices that I can set up by this. Um, that way, if anybody ever comes and said, I don't think you should be doing this, this has been set down. Um, so this is the, the book that I, I say is gold to me for Ontario. So um, I'll get the details, come to a meeting. And right, the last one, it's not really, this one's not a book. This one's actually a magazine. Um, and it's one I'm actually really, I wouldn't say passionate about. Um, but I, I, don't, I don't think I can, I've found a, a better magazine. I'm subscribed to their news alerts i get the magazine um i'm gonna get they've got a, a, every single magazine that they've got on a, a memory stick so you can read it and that's not that's not much just mother earth news i'm sure that there's um a lot of you out there that get this from your local um wherever you get your, your magazines from um i usually get mine this is from shoppers Shoppers Drug Mart, I usually get mine, this is where it is, but you get them at Walmart, and whatever. But this is uh, obviously everything from, you know, your homesteading, everything, raising rabbits, raising livestock, building sheds, building lean to everything you want in your garden to get for the, the lifestyle that, you know, most of us want to live now. Um, this is gold love this book so get subscribed to this um, I actually should pick up a subscription get it just delivered but it's just as easy to go up the um, up to the magazine place and go and get it so hope you don't mind me sort of waffling off a little bit um, but I have been asked um, several times and it's one of those I'll do it later I'll do it tomorrow type videos I never go around to it but I did tonight so yay for me. So this is Eddie from Food for Thought. And the th Food for Thought for my thing is feed your brain, learn, read, carry on.